Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I don't know where to start. So, this is what I want to say. I got a warning to let out for everybody, for those of you that have uh, Facebook and so on. Like, what I have been doing is sounding the alarm because Jesus Christ is about to return. All the prophetic signs are right before our very eyes right now as we speak. It's just a matter of time before Jesus Christ returns and sounds that trumpet and we're out of here. So I've been doing this for months now and it's been about a long time that I've been exposing the plans of the New World Order. I've been awake for about three years to this New World Order. I've been saved for eight years. But when I really got to understanding about the New World Order, it's going on to three years. There, there was a time that came on my Facebook. This girl added me. She said that her name was Anna Love. So I'm like thinking, she's asking me all this stuff. Do you know about the New World Order? Blah, blah, blah. Well, obviously, if I'm talking about it, I must know something about it. That's like somebody working under a car and somebody comes up to you and says, do you know anything about cars? Well, duh. That's like a stupid question you're asking. So I found out afterwards because I got my friend to investigate. That really helped me a lot. So if you're listening to this video, I just want to thank you for this. And uh, it, it just seems like it's always something. The devil is always coming after me with women. That's the thing that he uses against me. Because she was saying all this stuff, this girl, Anna Love. <laughs> she was saying that I'm, I'm good looking and this and that. And then she was telling me that she's tall and skinny and blah, 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 blah. And she literally abused my mind mentally. Because she was saying that her parents are persecuting her. Like last time she got thrown out of the house. She's like, maybe I'm going to pass away. I'm going to die on the street or on the sidewalk. And this and this and this and that. and Because her parents don't like her watching uh, Christian uh, videos. Because she said she was a Christian and she saved and this and that. And she was telling me, that's why I actually believe that she was who she said she was. She's like, we got to be ready at all times. And we got to repent daily. And then she told me that uh, her computer wasn't working right. It, she got an internet was slow or got a virus or something. I forget what she said. So my friend found out, because afterwards this person was telling me, this girl that was Anna Love was telling me that uh, she's at the library. And then my friend found out after, like, Chris, she's lying to you, okay? She's not at the library. All this time, she was on her cell phone, okay? So I found out that, and then another thing came up. I don't know if she's a real person or not. Like, <laughs> just so many things have happened to me, like... I know I smile about it, but it, it's not funny. It's just to stop and think about how many things have happened. Like, it's just mind-boggling. Like, never, ever before has this ever happened to me. Because this other girl that I got to know, we were talking, and uh, <laughs> she said she lived, in the, she lived somewhere in Nevada somewhere. I don't want to mention her name, but... Uh, she said that she was living on the floor and her husband, he, uh, he punched one of her kids in the ribs when the kid was very small and so on and so on. And she didn't want to get help because she had an incident that happened before with the government where they, they seized her children. And she's like, I don't want to go through that again. So we were very concerned about this individual, me and my friend. We tried everything that we could for her. And, uh... She was actually going to put money down for her to come somewhere to a shelter that she would go to, and she kept delaying and delaying. Like, some stuff did not make sense. You know, it really did not make sense. Like it said, she's sleeping on the floor. Like, I wonder how much back problems you have from that. And she's like, well, this is what I do. I care for my children, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you care for your children, you'll do everything in your power. To get out of that kind of a, a situation rather than getting beating and because she was telling a story like a story after story like he looked at the child I wish I never had you blah 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 
and all kinds of stuff. Like my friend, like we, we did everything for this person. And I don't even know if that's her real name. Uh, no, the other one, Anna Love. But this one I'm talking about a different person from Nevada. <laughs> and uh, there's just so many things, so many things that are happening, people. So would you just keep me in prayer? I just want to sound this warning to let you to let you guys be aware of all this, Satan is really, really after me. He's after everybody that is getting the word out because he knows his time is short and uh, he doesn't want this out. So eventually afterwards, my friend, because we had a concern because we never heard anything back from her. It just didn't make sense because she has the internet and all this other stuff. It just didn't make sense because of the stuff that she was telling us. It, it didn't make sense. So she said it. We sent the my friend sent the police to this person's house because she gave her address and everything. Like we thought she was gonna get out and get free, and she's not gonna live in that kind of a lifestyle anymore. So the police said that they were known. The the, the individual at the house had a record, a criminal record. The husband, I think, it was just the husband that did it. But my friend was trying to tell me if the police would have went there and saw the kind of condition that she was trying to tell us that it was in, like like stuff on the floor and they sleep on the floor and see how the children are and blah 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 they would have took the kids right there but she, she probably lied about it now this other thing that I want to talk to you about but even something else even before that like the devil always throws things like an ad he'll throw on the computer like about singles dating or whatever because <clears throat> I got Skype on my thing okay but all of a sudden out of nowhere this girl comes on, add me, blah, 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 add me to your contact list. It was like porn something porn, like XXX. I guess they do sex stuff on the Skype and all this. So I added her, but not for that, not for that. I added her to preach the gospel, because I'm going to preach the gospel to whoever I want. So I added, I did that, and uh, she didn't write anything back, so I, I, I deleted her off of my, uh, out of my contact list. And I also have other friends as well. Ali, I don't think you're going to mind that I mention your name on here because people need to know what's going on. This girl, Ali, she's on fire for the Lord. She's telling people about the Lord. She's been getting persecuted as well like crazy. It, it's, it's only those that are, are like I, living for the Lord. Like someone told me, if you're nothing but... Okay, because I wrote something on my status like about... Everybody has a Facebook... And why is it that everybody puts everything on there but God, like sports, this, 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 and then some people got mad, they put other things, oh, what are you trying to say, boxing is not good, I watch boxing, blah, 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 and there's other guys like, well, you can use Facebook for chatting, sharing your life with your friends, blah, blah, it's all a matrix system, so let's let you guys be aware of it. That's what was set up to get everybody into their system, as people put their, their uh, private information of everything, the government knows everything, they're just sucking everybody into the database. But uh, this person said, well, if you're going to do nothing but God, we would all be nuns. Well, I'm telling you right now. Jesus Christ saved my life, okay? He saved me, he touched me with his love, and I'm nothing but Jesus. If you guys were to be here with me, that's all I do. I don't care what anybody says. I don't watch the news. I don't do any of that stuff. I spend time reading the Word, or I read prophecy books, that's all I'm doing, is study, 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 and I listen to sermons on YouTube, and that's it. And yet this guy says, if that's all that we, were, we would do, we'd all be nuns. No. Nuns are from the Catholic Church, and that's totally demonic. Totally demonic. But I want to get back to this girl here. Like, you trying to, oh yeah, and about this person talking about boxing, are you trying to tell me, even UFC, are you trying to tell me that if Jesus Christ were at your house, that you would sit down and watch that boxing? Would you literally sit there and watch boxing with Jesus, watching these people bash each other's heads in? I don't think so. That's worldly stuff. But the Bible says, He that is a friend of the world is an enemy of God and is hostility against God. And without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. And this other girl, <clears throat> I guess she misunderstood. She should have made herself more clear. Because I guess she just got married and she got offended in what I said to her. Because she wrote something down about her husband, saying that he is the love of my life. Now, I went down and I wrote down, isn't Jesus the love of your life? She's like, well, duh, you should have known that. Well, she should have made herself more clear. Because the way she said it, it didn't sound like that, the way she was saying it. Because Jesus is number one. 
Okay? But anyways, this girl, Ali. This girl, Ali. Like, these, these, some pastors were asking to marry her. She's a 25-year-old girl that I, that I know. And some other guys were asking her to uh, show her breasts, to send nude pictures of herself. And, and that these people are claiming to be Christians. You see what I'm trying to say, people? And so many other things. But I want to get into this. This thing that happened with this girl, this other girl. I don't know, I don't know what her name was, but it's strange because she was asking me certain things. She said she actually found me through YouTube, so I don't really care if you see this video. I'm exposing it, and people need to know the truth about this. So she added me on Facebook. She said, I've been following on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. You're doing a great message and all this stuff. So I found it strange because she said, can I send you a video of me blowing... Uh, <laughs> you see, I can't even do it. Me blowing kisses to, uh, to my nieces. So I gave her my email and all that. So I go and check it. Like, this is strange. Like She's not mentioning anything to her nieces or nothing. She's not mentioning the names of her nieces. She's like blowing kisses, kisses. In another one, she looks pretty nervous. To me, she looked like a prostitute. Okay? And, uh... It, it just didn't make sense. So I asked her, are you in love with me? She's like, why are you asking me this, 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 man? She's like, yes, I'm in love with you. And I said, other stuff. I'm like, why do you love me? And, and then she went and said she wanted to make love to me. And it was just nonsense. Like, that's not the mark of a Christian here. Anybody that has the Holy Spirit would know that right away. So I just want to make this clear. So she wanted me to talk to her on Skype. Well, I asked her if she had Skype in the beginning because I thought she was true. So I talked to her before and I was asking her about those pictures. About the, the videos, I mean. I'm like, that, those, wasn't, those weren't for your nieces? And she's like, ha, 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 ha. Like laughing, like a joke. It's not a joke. You don't laugh like you don't laugh about something like that. You understand? What she said was she was blowing those kisses to her boyfriend. Who's her boyfriend? She's like talking about me. She's like, you're not gonna get married. And I'm like, no. I'm not getting married. I don't care. I'm not getting married with nobody. My whole life is sold out for Christ, and that's it. And then she's like, oh, good boy. Blah blah blah. And she was saying, I love you, and this and that, and uh, also as well as I heard. Uh, I heard lighters flicking. The flick of a lighter. It sounded like she was smoking crack out of a pipe. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not judging. I'm just telling you what I heard. She said she was laying in bed and all this stuff. And she said she's ill. She's ill, but yet she's saying all this other stuff, you know? Who knows if she's fooling around with other people as well. Because I send the, the link and the stuff to my uh, friend. And my friend told me that she she's playing with me, and she was playing with my mind. She's trying to make me fall for everything that I've been doing for the Lord. And uh, I just want to sound this alert for the other watchmen that are out there. If you guys have had any experiences like this as well, because I'm not leaving any comments open, just leave me a private message in my YouTube, and let me know if this stuff also has happened to you about women, girls, whatever. All this stuff happening, like, it's just incredible. Just, just to stop and think, like, you know? But this is the truth. This is what's happening. And uh, this is why we got to stand firm. We're in the final hours, and Satan's going to do his very, very best to try to make us slip and try to make us fall at the last second before the rapture of the church takes place. And uh, that's not going to work for me. I'm going to stand firm, and I don't care what people say. You can do other things rather than God. No, not for me. How my life was before, it was nothing. When Jesus touched me, because I, I used to watch that stuff before, it didn't do nothing for me. Nothing. I'm <clears throat> totally sold out to Christ. His peace reigns in my heart. I can never tell people enough about him. And this is what I want to do. I'm totally sold out to the kingdom of God. And uh, if people want to watch boxing and say there's nothing wrong with it, well, that's, that's their choice. They will be held accountable for it. It just doesn't make sense. Can you picture the Apostle Paul and his disciples sitting around watching people bashing their brains in? You're letting that come into your mind. And it's somewhere in the Bible it says, do not look upon anything that is evil. And if you have those girls walking in the stages half naked, and yet, anyways, I can go on and on and on. This is the truth. The Word of God is clear. So this is all i got to say. I just want to sound this morning. And uh, like I said, if there's any more, any watchmen out there, that have had, been having the same experiences I have been having within the last couple of days, 
write me a message in a private message on YouTube and uh, let me know and keep doing what you're doing we're about to go home Jesus is on his way and be ready live ready and stay ready and look up our king is coming and uh, God bless you all